welcome back and today another story time um since the psych school is getting ready to start back thank you god um i just decided to tell story of the first day of high school for me it was about 15 years ago now. No, nope, less than that. Almost 20, damn. Almost 20 years ago. Um, so, started, I mean, I, we moved to a new town and when I was in the seventh grade. If you have watched my lovely video on that draw my life, then you know most of this. And I went to this middle school where I kind of started getting a whole lot of friends and got my nickname and stuff like that. And then the house that we were staying in was with some family and all hell broke loose. So then I had to get, I had to, we ended up had to move again. And we moved to another side of the town. So, grew up with a group of friends, lost those friends. Moved, got a new group of friends. Ended up leaving those friends. Starting out, new guy, new school. Lovely, lovely time. So, in my hometown, we didn't have any metal detectors. In the middle school I went to, there was no metal detectors, even though they still went through your bag and looked to make sure there wasn't anything. So, first day of school, new school. Hey, now you have to walk through a metal detector. And you can't not have certain stuff. But, you know, when you come in in a row, we don't tell you that kind of thing. And so... Walk through, empty pockets, walk through again, empty pockets, walk through again, empty pockets, walk through again, empty pockets. Fourth, third or fourth or fifth time, they were like, you know, just come over to the side, wand you. Went through the bag, went through the bag again, search all the way around, go on about your business. That's one of the weirdest things that happened because of Columbine, because we just started going crazy and treating all the kids like they're criminals. And then so, fast forward, I'm going down the hall, on my way to the cafeteria for breakfast, and dude decides, hey, look, freshman. Anybody who knows me, I don't back down from anybody, any challenge, anything, I don't care. I'm already mad because I already had to come here. I'm mad because I can't have certain things. I can't bring in my drink because there may be booze in it. So I'm already pissed off. So he decides I'm gonna bump him. Bad thing. Couple punches, dudes down walk on about my business and then go eat breakfast and enter into my first class which actually was math which was algebra one and she actually became like one of my best teachers the whole time in school I mean kind of loved going to her class and then she actually would look out for me the rest of my time that I was at school, like a surrogate mother. And I mean, she would go, if I had a problem with a teacher, I'd tell her, she'd go over there and discuss it with the teacher and figure it all out. And then after that class, I went to ROTC and I loved ROTC. I mean, I stayed in in the all four years, ended up go raising all the way up, was up for a battalion commander, and then 
but chose I mean, after I didn't get that, I chose to be the battalion sergeant major, so I got to hang out with all the other cadets. And then after that was lunch again, and then was lunch, and then went from there, went to I want to say geography with a guy that I could not stand no matter what because everything you said was wrong and it's like dude I know this stuff because my mother is a history major and I pretty much listened to her as she read her books and I even read some of her textbooks so the stuff that you're trying to feed us isn't really authentic history it's a watered down version of stuff or facts that, that pissed them off so we had a, I would say, a historical rivalry throughout the rest of that school year. And then that was pretty, and then finish off leaving out of school. And the guy that I got in with at the beginning of the school year, I mean school day, decided, oh, let's try my luck again as I'm walking to the Metro bus to go home. Didn't end well for him again that way, even with his friends, they're cheering them on. And that was the first day, my first day at a new school, at a new high school. So if you enjoyed this story, hit it with a thumbs up. Comment below on how was your first day in high school. And always enjoy life.